So it didn't take long for the Splinter Cell community to figure out how Ubisoft is going to ruin Splinter Cell when they finally release a new game after this 10 year hiatus. For those of us who played Ghost Recon Breakpoint, the first hint to us that something was aloof with Splinter Cell lore was when we saw a specialty weapon in game that belonged to Sarah Fisher. Yes, Sarah Fisher, Sam Fisher's daughter. Like the rest of you out there who realize this made no sense, people began to question if Ubisoft was attempting to retcon Splinter Cell lore, and also questioning why, as we haven't seen a Splinter Cell game in ages. Why was Ubisoft attempting to push some outlandish narrative like Sarah Fisher being some type of soldier and having a signature weapon? It didn't help that they doubled down an elite squad and she was officially now an echelon soldier. Now the obvious ploy here to those of us paying attention is the extreme push by the purple people eaters to shove these female protagonists into games whenever they can, however they can. But I'm here to tell you and I'm here to tell them that Sarah Fisher becoming a playable character in the Splinter Cell series as a super soldier is the dumbest idea I've ever heard of. And apparently, in order to solidify this lore, Ubisoft has granted author James Swallow the opportunity to make their Mary Sue Sarah Fisher dream come true with his new book, Firewall, set to release in April of 2022. Mr. Swallow is writing a novel about Sam Fisher's latest assignment. Fisher has officially been cast aside in the eyes of these Tom Clancy IP holder rejects and is now set to recruit and train the next generation of Splinter Cell operatives for the NSA. And you guessed it, Sarah Fisher is one of the recruits. The absurdity of this author to take Sarah's character and transform her into something she's not and never should be and I have no doubt that this is Ubisoft's doing. This goes hand in hand with what Ubisoft wants to do to all their new games. I guarantee you, Sarah Fisher will become a playable character and quite possibly the main character moving forward in the series. And so we'll get a female protagonist in the Splinter Cell series that no one asked for. In this franchise so desperately needing an amazing reboot, will only be pushed into a narrative that fans will not approve of. Splinter Cell will now provide another platform for the purple people leaders to push their agenda as Sarah Fisher's history will mean nothing as her rise to super soldier will inevitably come to fruition because fuck you, women are strong and powerful and blah 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 bullshit. And it stands in such contrast as female leads who are developed with great care, with their lore being created organically like most great characters in video games. Lara Croft in Tomb Raider, Aloy in Horizon Zero Dawn, Ellie in The Last of Us. My problem comes specifically with writing a character like Sarah Fisher one way throughout the entirety of the Splinter Cell series and then attempt to transform her origins through novels and retconning in video games just to push her character forward into the spotlight. Of course, in my opinion, the next in line to take over the Splinter Cell series, if they're to retire Sam, should be Briggs. He's been set up as the one the torch could and should get passed to. No, they must pass the torch to a woman, a woman protagonist or nothing at all. So here we go, a super powered Sarah Fisher out of thin air. Take it and love it Splinter Cell fans.